OptiVote Connect is a plugin for Moodle and other VLEs that enables teachers to run activities such as quizzes, surveys and questionnaires live in the classroom. Students can respond to the questions using any web-enabled device such as an iPhone, iPad or Android device. Results are automatically ported into the Moodle gradebook. Students and teachers can view the results at the end of the session. This simple interface, being a software-only solution, is a low-cost option. Let's take a look. First of all, we log on. OptiVote Connect appears as a web browser. In the mainframe, you can see our OptiVote Moodle site here. Let's log in as a teacher. Having done that, we can see the courses for that particular teacher. The one we're going to look at today is in the Commercial Kitchen section. And once here, we can see the activities that are available in the Commercial Kitchens. There are various Moodle quizzes, there's a survey, and there are two questionnaires. For today's demonstration, let's have a look at this particular quiz now we can see that this has already been attempted once and here we've got some results from a previous session we'll clear those out so here's our quiz kitchen hygiene bacteria quiz. Let's have a look at the preview simply to prove that this is a standard Moodle quiz. We go to the first question. We can see it's a multiple choice with five answers. Then we have a second question and third and finally a true or false question about the defrost icon. So it's a straightforward Moodle quiz created within Moodle. And it's important that most of the administration functionality is kept within the Moodle site. If we go back to our quiz, we've also, because this is Moodle, got a list of participants on this particular course. Let's have a look at those. We have myself as a teacher at the top and a list of very erudite students in this particular course. And effectively what OptiVote for Moodle or OptiVote Connect as we call it now is about to do is to combine the two. So let's have a look at the activities that are available for OptiVote Connect. And we said we'd run the kitchen hygiene bacteria quiz at this point the teacher has his opening screen his control screen and we can see all of the participants in that particular course but in this lesson we've got a subgroup who are actually going to be taught so let's bring up our group it's group north and you see we have a reduced set of students For the purposes of this demonstration, we're just going to use one particular student, and that'll be Rachel Carson, who at the moment isn't logged in. Let's have Rachel log in using the PIN number. PIN number is optional, but in this case Rachel has keyed in the number and now we see here that she's ready to take part in the quiz. If this was a live quiz, I guess we'd have all 11 students registered, but for the purposes of the demonstration, we're just going to limit this to Rachel. This screen would now be broadcast on the 
projector or the plasma at the front of the classroom so that all the students could see as they logged in. And at that point we moved to the first of the icons within OptiVote Connect, which is the Engage button here, and we click on that to start the process. We get a warning here, a hmm, bit of a mistake but probably on purpose, that we haven't stopped the joining, so let's do that. And that's to prevent any other students joining that, our particular session. So we'll stop the joining. And now we'll click the Engage button. And you'll notice straight away that the first question that was part of our Moodle quiz is now displayed uniquely on the screen. So all the students can see this in the classroom and will respond. A few more icons for the teacher to um, work with. Let's start the voting. And we'll have Rachel put in her response. When Rachel has responded, we see that the blue box here lights up. That tells Rachel that her response has been accepted and also the teacher. In a live situation, we would have all 11 students showing across the bottom. Let's end that vote. As the screen flicked on and off, you may have noticed that, that was OptiVote Connect sending the results back to the Moodle gradebook. So there's no uploads or downloads for the teacher to worry about. It's done automatically. If we look at our second question, You recall this from the preview that we saw. Again, we have our response. We'll end it. And you may have noticed that down here, we've got the result showing that 100% um, of the class thought the answer was false, and it was indeed false. This is an optional box, as is the green tick next to the B false answer, at the top of the screen. This can be turned on. So for example, from a summative assessment point of view, you may not want to share these results with the students. As we move to the third question, Again, we'll end it. And this time, totally optional, but we can pop up the graph. So just like an ordinary voting system, we can bring up the graph to share the results and stimulate discussion if that's what we want to do. We'll move to the fourth question, and then we'll have a look at the results. So here's the fourth question. This is the defrost icon, true or false. Rachel makes a response, it pops up on the screen, and we end it. Okay, that's the end of the quiz, and let's close it. At this point, we probably close the projected image down whilst we review our results. There are various ways to do this. Let's go back to Moodle itself. Let's pick up the course that we've just been working with, which was Commercial Kitchens, and have a look at the quiz that we've just run. Viewing the attempts now will show the live attempts, indeed just from one student, but naturally if this was a live situation we'd have the whole student list but we can see how Rachel scored in that particular quiz. It's worth pointing out that at this stage, of course, Rachel could be logging in on her Moodle login and reviewing her own results. Let's go back and see what other reports we could generate. If we go into the OptiVote block, 
and perhaps we should have pointed this out at the start, that it being a plugin, Optivote offers a block, a sticky block, that can be applied to any of the courses that the teachers um, can access with the Optivote Connect. And it's this block here that we're going to go to now and have a look at the results. Here's our chronologically last session. And we see Rachel's results depicted there. Indeed, we can view them as a response report, as well as other reports. Again, we've only got one student in this particular class, but picture it if you will. A spread of results for the class would indicate where the class was strongest and weakest. And if this session was run at the start of a, of a, a, a lesson, then you could, the teacher could, drive the content towards the weaker areas for the class, or areas where the class is weakest. So in summary, Optivote Connect is a plugin that requires no uploads or downloads for the teacher. It works as far as the student is concerned with any web-enabled device. And it automatically records the results into the Moodle gradebook. Being software only, Optivote Connect is a low-cost option. Further information is available at optivote.co.uk and for a no obligation demonstration of Optivote Connect, please email me at jeffeek at optivote.co.uk.